Oh, here it is. New York was heaven to me, Malcolm noted in his autobiography. And Harlem was seventh heaven. Hey, I'm in Harlem now. So, <laughs> oh, this is a, I'm reading from, I'm reading from, a, I've been reading. Oh, man, I'm having like uh, literary orgasms here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Reading from this. Remember I told you, remember I told you, what, what was the book? I had, um, I had got, let me take these reading glasses off because I'm talking. So let me put on my, let me put as close as I got the mountain glasses right now. <laughs> um, what was the Walter Mosley book, right? A guy had gotten, and, uh, and I read that when I was in uh, Virginia, right? Because I had to take a break from heavy reading, right? And uh, but I bought it from this bookshop in uh, in Norfolk, right? And uh, you know, it's a support bookshop. And this book I got because of this book. I say this book. This book <laughs> I got because of my birthday. You know, people really know me that you know, I'm a book person. So they gave me a, a gift certificate, right, from uh, from the uh, uh, Barnes and Noble. This is oh, yeah, Barnes and Noble gave me a gift certificate for my. For my birthday, right? Um, and it was my 70th birthday. So it was a special thing, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, it's from uh, my best friend's daughter. You know me. And so I took the gift certificate and I went to Barnes & Noble and got this book, right? But that's not what I want to talk about. I'm trying to say support your support, support books, right? I said, oh, but well, one was a little book, so a local book, so a Norfolk, the other one's a big, you know, yeah, well, what can I say, right? But another book that I got, oh man, I got suckered. I, what I say, I shouldn't say I got suckered. That's not true. That's not true. What happens is, I can't help it, man. I'm on Hunter I'm just walking. You know, it's early. I you know the guy was just setting up his thing. They were selling books, you know. So if you if you gotta buy a book, if you first of all, just buy something from the street vendors. You know, everybody needs money, right? And I had this book before. Actually, uh, I said, oh, I get this book and I leave it here. You know at my brother's house because, you know, we got books. <laughs> it's like JB got books, all my book stuff. Well, why doesn't it got books? And so I bought this book. <laughs> From the street guy, right? And look, note this, man, you know, and it's, it's, it's a, a Black Theater USA, right? 45 plays. Now, I would bring it to South Africa, but not right now. You know, I got other stuff to do in South Africa. Um, but it starts with Ira Aldridge. Oh, God, I get some Ira, Ira Aldridge t-shirt or something like that. All the way down to you know, James Baldwin, people, you know, uh, William Bunch, I don't know who that is. Uh, Ed Bullins. Uh, Owen Dobson, I don't know who that is. Alice Dunbar. Pff, Alice Dunbar Nelson, I should say. Uh, 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 Ruth Gaines Shelton, uh, Langston Hughes, a couple of Langston, Lorraine Hansberry, The Drinking Gourd. Hey, nobody does that. Adrian Kennedy, yep. Uh, Lofton Mitchell, this proves it. Well, keeps on going. I guess this is enough. Gene Tumor. Gene Tumor. Uh, I uh, I met, yeah, I met uh, Gene Tumor's widow. Oh, Tom, it's like in the. 70s and the 70s because Pepsi Charles was doing a program. She was at BAI at the time, but the BAI that was at um, that was at the church, the famous church on whatever on the east side, right? So uh, I was in her class. This is like might be 74, 70. Anyway, I was in an English class at Livingston College, no, Rutgers University. It's, it's like an HBU in the middle of an Ivy League college. I'll explain that some other time. Anyway, so I met her and because, well, Pepsi said, I, I met her. I just, you know, anyway. Oh, bad fact. Um, her, her, their granddaughter. If you go to my website, you know, www.ajsloan.name, uh, right? It's a static website. I don't put it on it. I mean, I don't update it. Uh, whatever. But on the website, uh, the first thing you see when you just log in is a uh, uh, Gene Tumor's uh, granddaughter did a piece on me. So that was what appears in the thing. Anyway. Uh, Douglas Turner Ward. Oh, Dave Absence. We did Dave. I told you about Dave Absence. Okay. Uh, uh, which is really good. Uh, oh, Richard Wright and uh, Paul Green, Nader's son. It's a book. I'm sorry. I got to go on long. But, but, okay, whatever. Oh, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. <laughs> uh, 
another book that I got, and this one I want to talk about, uh, it's called NFT, Non-Fungible you know, Tokens, right? I've been telling people about this. Now, I'm not a money person, so it doesn't, it's not a thing, but I, but I, for a long time, I, I mean, since I, since I got out of school, since I came, like in the 80s, yeah, no, yeah, early 80s, when, uh, um, when I was, I was, I was monitoring, let's say I was monitoring a lot of Wall Street stuff and stuff like that, and I realized, that's nothing but a, you know, casino, right? So I never got, I'm just not a money person, it's as simple as that. However, with the advent of, uh, not digital currency necessarily, but with the advent of um, blockchain, I start to think a little differently. Not that I want money, but I think a little differently. So here's, well, that's not, here's what I do. Let me see what's up here. Oh, here we go. Right, get it. Of course, as you may or may know, I'm guided by, if you would, uh, um, my individual dis discipline. I, I go by the um, the code as expressed by uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, this is book, The United Compensatory Code System Concept, a compensatory counter racist code. That's what we're talking about, right? Now, this is the this is the do the is this the revert? No, this is the yeah revised and expanded edition. Yeah, so this is the one that came out whatever year it came out. Um, uh, you know, is it uh, 2016 or something? Like that? Yeah, 2016, right? But I got this from ordering from the website producejustice.com, okay? So, you know, when anyways get books, try to stay away from the big things, okay? Um, so, but this, you know, this I read this book like like a Bible, meaning that I just pick it up every once in a while, just pick any place, and I just start reading, you know? It's a little while, just go on to the next thing. Because you're not supposed to read it like a book, like a, you know, like a novel, like that, okay? So anyway, the interesting, the, but the thing about this, so I got, um, the reason why I, this one is here, and it, who else has a word guy? I don't know where Buddy put the word guy, you know, but it's his, I had to gift it back to him. Not, not this is years later, because when I, about way before this, it's like 2000, before 2016, it's 2015, maybe even, yeah, 2015, I think, somewhere around there, I went, and I actually got the, uh, not got, but I was here. I was here. It must have been 2015. I was here because when I come to New York, this I stay at my brother's house here. And um, I saw the compensation because I had just gotten into, not just, I had been into Miss Neely Fuller Jr., but there's no way to get the book. The book wasn't, it was rare. You couldn't get it, right? But he had a copy, you know, an old copy, the original, the big one. It was a big one. This is a, this is a, this is a little compared to the other ones, like, like, you know, bigger. <laughs> But, and it's like paper battle, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, it has, they, they, they had that thing. So what I, I did was I, he gifted it to me and I brought it back to South Africa. Now, South Africa, I wish I had the book. I'll show you to some other time. Um, in South Africa, they have a thing called the Lovedale Press. Okay. Now, that's the press that, uh, in Alice, you know, in the Eastern Cape. That, that's the press that the ANC used. They put all the, all the inf all pamphlets and, you know, published the, Everything, you know, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the new constitution or whatever, whatever the ANC does, part of ANC. So I'm still drinking water, I'm on my water kick. Next two weeks, no, no, no other kinds of drinks. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, so I bring up all this there because that book, when I took like that press, I had to combine it, you know, with a, with a, you know, like a, you know, like a hardcover binder, you know, like hardcover, right? And then I even had it, because they put it on there, I had the guy sign it to the end, they didn't love their press. So that particular book, the new, new, it's it's like a rare book. Well, so I made it a rare book. Ain't nobody has it on the planet, but me, that particular, uh, what I did with it, okay? Okay. Now, the reason why I bring this up, there's a thing called, you know, the non-fungible token, and, and, and uh, I put a link there with, uh, in this thing where uh, Cold Fusion, the go go, my man from down under, you know. Uh, uh, he's like Nigerian descent from down. Under. It's it's a it's a great web. Cold fusion. You should be subscribed to him anyway. Uh, and I subscribed for years, and um, and so he he explained this whole NTF because I always go to him if I really I really need to know something, right? And uh, so so he explained it. So let me explain it in a way that I can understand, interpret it, right? Now, what it is, the important things about it, at first it will look like a, a Ponzi scheme, you know, like a multi-level marketing thing or something like that, you know, like that. But because of the blockchain, it became it becomes something else. So, for instance, if I take that book that I have, right, Miss Nilly Fuller's book, that copy that I did, 
and I say take a picture of it. And I put it on the blockchain. Now they use I think they use an Ethereum. I don't I, I want to go to Bitcoin. I have to figure this out and see if I can get the Bitcoin. Some or I could do the Ethereum when stuff talking, I would switch it over to Bitcoin. I don't know how it, how to do it. Anyway, the point is because I don't trust. See, the thing about Bitcoin, it's it's decentralized. Nobody owns it but you. But if, if there's no control, right? They could everybody somehow they, they have a, a some sort of control mechanism. If you have a one person a control point, then it can be like oh not well, it can be stopped let's put it that way but you can't stop bitcoin it's too late anyway anyway so this because so this book that i have take a picture pointing and that becomes the first block in this kind of thing now what happens is every time somebody sells that that block is that thing is that picture is sold you know the next person sells it for a little bit more money whatever it is goes i guess they'll put in bitcoin and then that will come somehow come back to me but to whoever put that in so let me give you so let's let me give you another thing, right? Say we took Mr. Neely Fuller's book, right? Now everybody wants Mr. Neely Fuller to uh, to read, you know, to have have an audio version. You know, that guy ain't gonna, I don't know what he, what they're gonna do. But what you what he can do, right, is every uh is say read and you know the, the the this chapter or the thing that people one of the area, the area of the area, one of the areas, uh of a human condition or whatever, however he says it, is a uh, is area nine war counter war, right? So if I were him or if I were his team, what I would do is I would start him reading the book. Everyone, you know, every day, whatever, have fifteen minutes or whatever time, and just read a few pages, you know, uh, like that. Just read a few pages into a thing, and then or or even somehow, you know, sections like that and post them up individually because when somebody has this block start coming somebody's going to want to collect all of them you see to put it to put it all together so every time something is sold and so on on, on this blockchain um the nearly full of foundation or nearly full of whoever is going to start getting some you know some money and if it's his voice if he's the one that's putting on it it's going to be a lot of people who want a lot for it you see so he can fund his own operation finally get these books out you know has to defray the cost so he can send the books all over the world and people and, da, 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 that kind of and plus you know with bitcoin you can anyway so that's the point so what i'm trying to say with these uh non-fungible tokens uh money can be made now it's er it's early on now oh, I should say this: the people who can't, the, the reason why your your price would go up, or your your price would be either the stuff is really rare, like I say, I have my my if I give I'll get my Marker Frost book back, you know, it'll be rare, or usually it's like a art, art it's like art would be really good. I have I sent this thing out to a bunch of my friends, and one of them is in the arts, right, and he got it right away, you know, um, so so if you have somebody that has celebrity and art and rarity, those kind of things. That's more likely to sell on this as as a token, right? Yo, look, I'll put the to go go thing so you can understand. He plus he's better because he has a whole conclusion. He, he has a, everybody everybody has their doubts. I want you have your doubts. Please have your doubts. Research completely. Like I said, there's no money for me. You know what I mean? I, I just do it just for the exercise and see what happens. Okay, okay. Just a little some suggestions from me. T. From the Patterson's taking a change to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.